Tip number 67. Be sure you fan out all the BGA pins and place all the BGA vias before you start connecting signals to it. I'm going to explain. When uh, I was starting with hardware design and uh, if I had a BGA on my PCB, what I used to do was that uh, I selected uh, an interface or I selected group of pins, for example, this corner here, which I wanted to route and uh, I just connected it. Yeah, I fully routed all the connections between the BGA and the other chip. Then uh, I decided different interface, for example, here or different kind of paths. And again, I fully routed them from the BGA to the other chip. In the next step, you can guess. I selected different paths or different interface and fully routed the connections between the BGA and the rest of the board. It was quite easy for first half of the BGA. And then it started being a little bit more complicated and complicated and complicated. And uh, when I had to connect the last few pins under the BGA, it was very, very difficult. Many times, almost impossible. What usually happened when I wanted to connect the last few pins, I had to delete a lot of work what I already done. In one case, I had to delete half of my PCB to be able to finish the fan out of the BGA. Half of the PCB, a lot of work, a lot of wasted work. So since then, I do it differently. Since then, I am very careful about the connecting uh, or drawing full connections. Uh, I do lay out in, uh, in parts, small parts. So basically, uh, if I have a BGA, the first goal is just go out of the BGA. Be sure you can go out with all the parts, all the pins under the BGA. I do not fully route the interfaces. I just route like a little bit of track, like here, for example, and then I stop routing and I go and do uh, and draw the tracks for different path, yeah, or place via and draw the path again, just a little bit out of the BGA area. Be sure you will be able to fan out and connect all the paths which are under the BGA. And only after I'm sure I will be able to do it, then I start connecting all the other interfaces. There are some exceptions, okay? Uh, like memories or high speed interfaces. Uh, if there are some memories, I fully route the connection between the BGA and the memories. Or if there are some important high speed interfaces or other interfaces, important interfaces, I fully route these connections and then I finish the fan out of all the paths. What do you think how this approach is different from, from my first, from my beginning of the hardware design when I was uh, fully connecting all the pins? The difference is that even if you do it this way, uh, and when you will try to finish and connect the last few pins under the BGA, you will run into problems. There will be no space. But if you only draw these short tracks, it's very easy to delete them and redo part of the layout under the BGA. It's just small part, yeah, because you didn't fully route the tracks. You only routed this area here, yeah, or this area here. So you just delete it and try to figure out a way how to fan out all the pins. It's much easier and it's, it saves you a lot of time if you don't have to delete a lot of layout, only small part of your layout. I'm not sure if you've ever been in a situation when uh, you had a finished PCB and someone told you like, uh, you know what I need? I need to fan out, uh, I need to take out uh, 
this part which is here in the middle under the BGA it it should be simple it just you know it's just one part it's so difficult once you have fully routed BGA and someone tells you to take out one pin somewhere in the middle it's so difficult you have to delete a lot of tracks to be able to actually come out with one signal so be very careful how you decide on the process of routing BGA tip number 67 be sure you fan out all the BGA pins and place all the BGA vias before you start connecting signals to it why? it is very hard to add something later 